race for the playoffs over the championship just gets even more difficult as of course some drop points by Middlesbrough. Who else dropped points? QPR, but of course Rovers didn't even get a kick a bloody ball. We'll take a look at the latest. Coming at ya. Nick. Game in a prediction video today, we're forward to match number 34 over in the championship, and we'll get to that in just one second. Vindu, where you been? Smash your subscribe button and give bang out today with all things championship related, Baba Rose related, woo, football related. We're gonna all here, boys. And uh, Warren Ruski. Would you add them and bloody Evie? Of course, they are bloody made They are they are human. Fulham, of course, did lose at home to Huddersfield Town to, of course, boost Huddersfield Town a playoff hopes and, of course, dent uh, Fulham's title ambitions. But, of course, what else happened uh, in the race for the playoffs? We'll take a look at that. And, of course, more in a second. Of course, big big shout out to my VIPs. They're the patrons, guys. Thank you for having, of course. I really do appreciate it. And, of course, if you want to help us out, check out that link down below, patreon.com forward slash Roverseas. So, here we go, then. Uh, of course, recap the games that did take place this past weekend. Uh, of course, a couple of postponements for some snow, some storms, all that stuff. So here we go. Here I recap of the results. Kick it all off with the top two there. Both of them postponed. Bournemouth I guess for us to do that another day. Me or Rovers against me will also do that another day. And I am. I am sorry for the state of... And I'm not apologising for Rovers. I'm apologising for the state of the referee. The referee said, cancel the shit. Meanwhile, about 10 miles down the road, Preston, okay to play. Uh, meanwhile, non-league, Chesterfield, okay to play. You know what I mean? Uh, it just winds me up. Uh, regardless, of course, kicking off all the Bristol City picked up a monster win, of course, uh, for themselves. And dented Middlesbrough's hopes. 2-1 win for them uh, to give themselves a big, a big old boost. Meanwhile, Cardiff City, I guess, Blackpool all square on that one. Commentary also got themselves back on track with a 1-0 over Barnsley. Derby got together. Relegation boosts a monstrous hit with a 1-0 win over Peterborough. Of course, dented their hopes as well. Fulham, of course, lost at home to Huddersfield, which was a surprise. Didn't see that one coming. Luton Town, uh, <laughs> uh, well on track for playoffs. I'll tell you right now, right now of course, monstrously uh, uh, bang, uh, smashed home win against West West Brom of course under Steve Bruce I, I think they're in trouble already I think they're in massively in trouble I, you don't go from Valerian Ishmael to uh, Steve Bruce you know Valerian Ishmael high tempo high press all kind of kind of game madness to to it just feels lethargic with West Brom no disrespect and of course well done to Luton Town meanwhile Preston also lost to Reading and goodbye uh, Caraval or whatever his name is uh, uh, I don't know the Reading manager I could never pronounce it and welcome back Paul Ince it's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Of course, we were, we had you at our, as our gaffer at one stage. Didn't really work out. It was actually quite terrible. Uh, Blackpool had you at one stage. Wimbledon or MK Don, sorry, had you at one stage. So, uh, Good luck, Benning. That's all I can say. Meanwhile, QPR, of course, fluffed their lines against Hull City. I thought that was a nailed-on home win as well. Uh, Sheffield United, of course, 4 0 Demolition Swansea. We take on them next, which, of course, is ugly. And Stoke 2, Bristol, Birmingham City 2. Of course, that's the state of play there. Uh, of course, this is the table right here, right now. Of course, Fulham drop points. Uh, of course, uh, Bournemouth didn't get their game ahead. Uh, of course, win that game in hand. They're back up to 61 points, and they have a chance to maybe even top top bins. They've got a, they've got a big old chance. Meanwhile, of course, Blackburn Rovers still remain in third, even though we've been absolutely diabolical recently. So we need a result. Um, quickly and of course the next one it doesn't get easy probably against the team that you don't want to play right now that is Inform Sheffield United who are in the playoffs right now Meanwhile, Barzi, Peter and Derby going down right now but of course Reading five points adrift of Derby uh, of course it's realistically a four horse race for that relegation spot even though Barzi probably already down let's take a look at of course the, the, the prediction league here you go take a bloody bow uh, Jokic Jackson and Carl Muck again of course kicking ass and taking names well done to you guys for your uh, five out of uh, ten there so 50% success rate so well done to you of course take a look at the the mini leaderboard then for the back half of the season and it is Shane O'Donnell with 54 points on the board. Well done to you, sir. And of course, we've got a double match week this week. So, of course, full fixture list in the midweek and of course, full fixture list on Saturday, of course, to round out the month of February. So, uh, this time next week, hopefully, we'll have the uh, the announcement of who won the predictor of the month. So, here we go. The next one match is getting involved with it. Cut the force championship. Get in amongst it and see if you can get your name in lights. So, these are the games that we're going to kick it all off with Bristol City up against Coventry City over at Thrashton Gate. Let's get into the deep end now, shall we, on this guy. Now, these two sides have pleasure. The 20 times, 2007. A 10 minutes for Bristol City, 6 minutes for Coventry, and 4 draws, of course. Just one defeat to pass. Three games for Bristol City right now, 42% form. Also, Coventry, one defeat to pass. Six as well, 42% form. At the moment, of course, last time out over at Thrashton Gate was a 2-1 win for Bristol City back in September 2020. The reverse fixture over the Rico was a 3-2 win for Coventry. That was, of course, back in November 2021, though, of course. Bristol City coming into this on the back of a 2-1 win over Middlesbrough. It's actually been back-to-back -back, uh, uh, home wins for Bristol City. Of course, pick up a 2-1 win over Reading, 2-1 win over Middlesbrough. 
Middlesbrough. Sandwiched in between that was a 3 1 loss against Swansea. Coventry coming to this on the back of a 1 0 win over Barnsley. That was, was at home. Their last away day was a 2 0 loss against Cardiff. Uh, of course, 13 8 is your uh, Bristol City. 29 20 is your Coventry. And 9 4 is your draw. It does smell like a stinky draw, if I'm honest with you. I've gone with a 2 0 win there for Bristol City in the end on this one. Kicking off will be Middlesbrough up against West Bromwich Albion. It is the Tony Mowbray Derby. That's right. Uh, he's managed both of these two sides, I believe. 25 times they've played each other since 1993. 12 wins for Middlesbrough, 7 wins for West Brom, and 6 draws, of course. Just one defeat past six, uh, 5 for Middlesbrough, 58% form. Meanwhile, West Brom coming to this uh, with a win in 5, 25% form as well. Um... No win so far for Stevie Bruce. Of uh, course, coming at you last time out over the Riverside. It was a 1-0 win for West Brom. That was back in October 2019. The reverse fixture uh, over at the Hawthorns was back in November. It was a draw under Valerie Ishmael. Uh, meanwhile, Middlesbrough picked up a 2-1 loss against uh, Bristol City. Of course, West Brom did also lose to Luton. Amp scored in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 games. Goodness gracious me. It's been a while, hasn't it? Of course, look at the odds on this one. Then Middlesbrough 23, 20 for the reaction. 9 4 is your weight. And 12 to 5 is your draw. I'm going to go with a Middlesbrough win on this one, which, of course, will put a bit of a damper on uh, our own hopes. Kicking off would be Hull City against Barnsley over the co over the KCOM. Uh, good result for, for Hull last round. Played each other 21 times in 2004. Nine was for Hull, seven was for Barnsley, and five draws. Uh, Hull City now without a win in five, 33% form against Barnsley. Side, just one minus six for them, 17% form. Uh, of course, last round at the KCOM was a winner for Barnsley. That was back in February 2020. The reverse fixture over at Oakwell was a tournament for Hull as well. That's back in uh, November, uh, match number six, uh, 17. Uh, of course, QPR did draw with Hull last round. Of course, Barnsley did lose to Coventry last round. The odds though for this one, Hull 11 10 on for the victory. They are Red Hot favourites 23 10 is your draw. 16 to 5 is your away win. Barnsley. I'm going to go with a 1 0 for Hull City, but it could be a draw. It does smell like a bit of a draw as well on this one. Kick it off, order be Preston. Uh, they're going to take it on Nottingham Forest, who, of course, uh, did get to, did not get to play this past weekend, uh, which means I think Sam is he still suspended. I don't know. Anyway, pressure sure the 32 times this year 2009 was for Preston, 10 was for Forest, and 13 draws. Just one defeat the past six, though, for Preston right now. 58% form. Up against the Forest side, have lost just once in the past six. 75% form for them as well. Coming at you, though, last time out over at Deepdale was a 1 0 for Forest. That was back in January 2021. Uh, of course, the reverse fixture over in uh, City Ground was a 3 to win for Forest way back in November. Uh, Reading picked up a 3 2 win over Preston last time around. Of course, Forest did draw with Stoke 2 2 last time around. And yes, he did get suspended on that one. That's quite a bit shady, that. So he'll be suspended for this game. He would have been suspended for the Bournemouth game. So it's a bit fishy when you when you look at that as well. Take a look at, of course, the uh, odds on this one. What do we have? We have uh, Preston coming at you 7 4 for the 11 to 5 is your draw. And 8 to 5 is your Forest on this one. I'm going to go with 2 1 win for Preston on this to take it to the house. Swansea City up against Bournemouth on this. Let's get into the deep end on this one over in Wales. Now these two sides that played 18 times 2003. Uh, we got nine wins for five Bournemouth, four for Swansea, and five draws. Just two wins and two, and, and two defeats in the past four for Swansea. I guess the Bournemouth side won three of the last four. In fact, three of the last six. 50% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time around over in Wales, it was a nil nil draw uh, back in December 2020. Of course, the reverse fixture was a four nil win for Bournemouth way back in the Vitality. Uh, the West hasn't scored in any of these last six games. Goodness gracious me! And in fact, I'll, 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 I'll big up on that one. Of course, uh, Bournemouth uh, out of six games unbeaten, haven't conceded a goal in six games against Swansea. Wow, wow, wee wow. I mean, my Swansea coming to this on the back of a 4-0 loss against Sheffield uh, United. Of course, uh, Bournemouth pick up a 2-1 win over Blackpool last time around. The odds, though, for this one... 21 to 10. 21 to 10 is your Swansea. 23 to 10 is your draw. And 5 to 4 is your Wayman. That is Bournemouth. Uh, fortunately, I've got with a draw here. 2 2 in the end. Uh, point split. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, Bournemouth will drop uh, a bit of a clangor on this one. Reading. Uh, they're going to be taking on, of course, Birmingham. Of course, Paul Lynch in charge. Uh, now, these two sides have pleasure 33 times since 1995. 13 wins for Reading. 15 wins for Birmingham. And 5 draws. Just 1 minus 6 over Reading right now. 25% form. Because the Birmingham side, who have just uh, 1 minus 6 for them. 42% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time around, over the Majeski, was a 2 1 win for Birmingham back in December 2020. The reverse fixture over at St Andrews was of course a 2-1 win for Reading back in November uh, meanwhile Reading pick up a 3-2 win over Preston of course Stoke pick up a, do a draw against uh, Birmingham last time around 2-2 in the end the odds though for this one what do we have on this one Reading 70 to 10 for the victory 30 to 8 is your Birmingham 11 5 draw quite tight this one with a new manager in the, in, the, in the hot seat I'm going with a new manager bounce even if it is Paul Lintz one they win in the end for Reading over at the Majeski kicking off forward into Wednesday's night Wednesday night action of course Derby up against Millwall uh, let's get in the deep end on this one Pleasure the 35 times since 1993 11 wins for, uh, for Derby 13 wins for Millwall and 11 draws of course Derby winning two of the last three of course 42% form for them right now up against the Millwall side who've lost just once in the past five 58% form uh, for them at the moment of course last time over at uh, at uh, at Pride Park it was a one-way for Millwall uh, back in um March 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, was a 1-1 draw down at the Den. Uh, Derby pick up a 1 over Peterborough. That was back in the 19th. Of course, Mill pick up a 2 and a 1 over Cardiff. Back-to-back -back wins for them as well. Uh, the reverse, have they rescheduled the game? I don't think they have. Anyway, uh, the odds, though, for this one, Derby are actually 38 for the victory. 21 to 10 is draw and 7-4 is your way win. That is Millwall. Going to go with the 2-1 with the Derby on this one. Of course, maybe... 
maybe it's a blessing in disguise that we didn't play more because they 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 had their tails up, didn't they? They had their tails up, uh, of course, and uh, maybe this could to, we can play them at a better time. Uh, I hope, I hope. Anyway, kicking off Fulham up against Peterborough. Of course, Fulham should win this one, shouldn't they? Top versus bottom. Played other three times at night, or pretty much bottom anyway. Uh, 2009, two was a Fulham, nothing for, for Peterborough, and one draw, of course. Uh, I'd love, I'd love it, I'd love it, I'd love it if Peterborough beat them. Uh, of course, uh, two wins and two defeats in the past four games for Fulham. They're hitting a bit of the skids right now. Uh, 58% form because people decide just one and a six. 25% form for them right now. Last round, they played each other over at uh, Craven Cottage. It was an FA Cup match. It was a 6-2 win for Fulham back in January 2011. Meanwhile, the reverse fixture over at Peterborough was a winner for Fulham back in, of course, November 2021. Peterborough began with a one and lost against uh, Derby and haven't scored in uh, one. Four games. Meanwhile, Fulham did lose to Huddersfield last round at Cranby Cottage as well on the weekend. Look at the odds. Uh, 92 on is your Fulham. 92 is your draw. The 21 is your away win. That's Peter. Four nil win for me for, for Fulham on this one. Kicking on forward it is the informed team right now. Huddersfield Town. They've come out of nowhere and they've got they're, they're doing it very sneaky beaky, aren't they? 18 uh, 18 times they played each other uh, uh, against Cardiff. Of course, uh, one with Huddersfield, 12 with Cardiff, and five draws. Uh, Huddersfield haven't lost in the last 15 games. It's still even right here right now. They sit in the playoffs. They sit comfortably. No one's even talking about them. No one's even talking about them. And they've won three, lost to be the last six, 75% form up against Cardiff side, who are uh, picking up uh, three wins uh, at the last six, 58% form for them as well. Last round over at Huddersfield was a new, new draw back in March 2021. The reverse fixture in Wales was a 2-1 win for Cardiff way back in, of course, November 2021. Uh, meanwhile, Huddersfield pick up a 2-1 win over Fulham. Uh, that was their first win, though, in three. Of course, a couple of draws in there. Uh, meanwhile, Cardiff pick up a warm draw against Blackpool over in Wales last round. Of course, the odds of this one, 23-20 is your Huddersfield, 5-2 is short, and 11-5 is your Cardiff. I'm, I'm hoping that they don't win this one, but I think they are going to win it. 2-0 win over Cardiff in the and QBR up against Blackpool over at Loftus Road. Let's get in the deep end on this one then, shall we? Of course, play each other 13 times. There's other three, six wins of QBR, two for Blackpool, and five draws. Just one minute, six of a QBR right now. 33% form up against the Blackpool side, who have just lost once in the past six. 58% form for them right now. Last round at uh, Loftus Road was a 1-1 draw back in March 2014. Uh, meanwhile, the rust, fi the rust fixture over at Bluefield Road was a 1-1 draw back in November. Uh, meanwhile, Blackpool pick up a, a draw against Cardiff. QBR also drawing with Hull. Both of those were 1-1s one in the end. 11-10 on is your QBR, 5-2 is your draw, and 3-1 is your Away we keep you all win this one, aren't they? Surely one they win for them in the end to take it to the house. Kicking off forward, it is the game of the day, and of course we will have a watch along on this one. I hope. Anyway, it's not one hundred percent, but uh, I hope so. Anyway, play. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 12 times in 1983, uh, five wins for Sheffield United, four wins for Rovers, and three draws, of course. Sheffield United, though, coming to 83% form, looking very, very good right now. Because the Rovers side just won to be, uh, one win in the past six for them, 33% form. We are pretty shit right now. Coming at you, though, we'll have a preview on this, a review, maybe in a vlog as well. But of course, coming at you last time round over at uh, Bramall Lane, was a, in the league, was a 3 win for Sheffield United. Uh, we did play each other this season back in November, and it was a 3 1 win for Rovers as well. Good game that was, and hopefully we can get more of the same. Even Rovers coming to this on the back of a 0 no draw against West. Brom doesn't mean it doesn't mean shit that game right now it means absolute dross right right now meanwhile Sheffield United come to us on the back of a 4-0 win over Swansea and they haven't conceded a goal in four games we haven't scored a goal in forever they haven't conceded a goal so it's, it, it smells bad for it does smell bad I'm telling you it smells bad for 11-10 on is Sheffield United 3-1 is your away when that's Rovers and 5-2 is your draw we have, I've gone with a draw here yeah? that's, that's a brave old shout for me I, I really don't think uh, I think if you're a wise man you would stay away from this game uh, but I'm hoping I'm hoping we can get to uh, get pull the wood over their eyes. Anyway, of course, kicking off forward as the final game. It's Stoke up against Luton Town. Pleasure of the 16 times in 93 is the Nathan Jones Derby. Of course, Stoke coming to this just one defeat past six, 58% form up against Luton Town side. So you look very, very good right now. Just one defeat past six as well, 75% form at the moment. Of course, last time out over at the, at the, uh, the 365 stadium was a 3 0 win for Stoke. That's back in February 2021. The reverse fixture over at Kenilworth Road was a 1 win for Stoke as well. Stoke have actually won three in the bounce against Luton. I haven't conceded a goal in those. In fact, they've conceded just one goal in five against uh, Luton Town as well. Luton Town coming to this on the back of a 2 0 win over West Brom. Of course, Stoke pick up a 2 2 draw. It's Birmingham. Basic odds on this one. Basic odds go in favour of Stoke. They are the favourites on this one. Luton Town are your underdogs. But you know what? I wouldn't bat it against Luton Town getting a win out of this one because they are they are the shit house merchants and one of the teams to avoid. But I've gone with a close game. 3 2 in the end for Stoke City, of course. That is it. Of course, uh, we'll be back again for the next round of matches. Of course, it's a double match week in the Championship. But of course, be sure to get your picks in using the link right there. Cutly Force slash Championship. But that is it. Smash your thumbs up. Smash your subscribe. Check out the links down below. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitch. I'm on Facebook. And I'm also on Patreon if you want to support the channel in another way. That is it. Until then, guys, I'll see you soon for the next one. We are done for this. I'll see you soon for the next.